So for some reason we just bought tires off a dog. Good morning. Now you join me on a very cold, gloomy morning. It's that time of year where everywhere just looks run down, everywhere looks horrible, all the leaves have fallen and everyone's cars are absolutely filthy. So today what we're doing, I'm just on the way to the post box to post some of the 9k orders. Thank you very much for everyone that's ordered a smelly or a key ring. I've literally just released the key rings today and we've already had a few people buying them. So I just want to say that support and that feedback of when I release like an item that I can get people buying it straight away. That support does not go unnoticed and it really does mean a lot. So today what we're doing, the last track day we did in the EJ9, I, uh, I kind of shredded the tires, neighbors there. I kind of shredded the tires, so we are going to need some new tires. We found some on Facebook. We haven't got the money to literally buy brand new tires for the EJ9. But we found some on Facebook that are a little bit worn, um, semi-slicks, and they're really cheap. So we're literally just going to grab them. Like I said, this car is a complete budget car, budget build. Everything we do on a very, very tight budget, and it's working so far. Now, we're going to pick James and Stephen up from the train station. If you don't know who James is, he was a patron of mine that wanted to build like a track car and wanted to own a car. So he bought the EJ9 and he messaged me one day when i was looking at getting into track days and stuff like that and he said is there any chance you could help me kind of like build this car and i was like do you know what screw it life's too short let me help this lad and it's worked out really well he runs 9k now um i help with sponsors and stuff get on his track car i drive the car and it's ju it just works in everyone's favor he's a good lad but that's that's a little bit of a backstory on james anyway i'm going to post these orders and uh, we're going to head to the train station Oh my god, it's filthy, man! It's filthy. We've got Stephen, we've got James, and we've got a poorly EJ9 that needs new tyres. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not good. How that didn't go bang on track, especially when I did a uh, burnout afterwards. Uh, I don't know how that hasn't gone bang, but we definitely need for some tyres and the clean. Let's get a little cold start. Go on, battery. <laughs> Just realised there's two EJ9s here. <laughs> Where are we going? Somewhere, it's about an hour away to grab some uh, semi-slicks for the EJ9. Hopefully find somewhere that can throw them on for us. Either way, we're gonna hit the road and go get these uh, semi-slicks. Right, I think we're here. Oh shit, James is about to get killed by that dog. <laughs> go on, have him, lad! <laughs> right, throw him in, dickhead. Right, let's go get him on. So for some reason, we just bought tyres off a dog. <laughs> Cheers, mate. So literally, after ringing every single tyre and garage place in Cheshire, we finally found somewhere that will do it for £7.50 a tyre. So, £7.50 a corner, so we're literally just jacking the car up. Uh, I've had to run to Lee's house as well and get his other jack because the clear is on my axle stand, so we haven't got them. So we're just going to have to leave the car like this for now, take these to the place, get the tyres swapped over. Hopefully we can fit it all in the Ibiza. Hopefully the car doesn't fall over. Hopefully the car doesn't fall over. But we're just going to have to go for it. Uh, that's not good. We've got a bit of a flat one on here as well, so that's going to have to be seen too. We'll pump them up. <laughs> Where are you going to sit? You're James going to get one on his thing, you're going to get one on my knee. Oh my I'm god. Get one on mine as well. get a... Quick update as well on the EJ9. Big thank you to Daz with the GTR. He hooked us up with a uh, OMP steering wheel, which is very, very sexy. It's a lot better than the old one. But yeah, we're going to uh, shut the shed and head to the uh, tyre place. We're on route! <laughs> you're eat, boys! We're on route. We've pumped the uh, IB for tyres up. There was five PSI in one of them, so how we've. Uh, how we've survived, I do not know. Uh, we're on route now, 24 minutes, and then hopefully we'll get these fitted. I'm hoping he said £7.50 a corner, not £17.50. We'll have to see. Oh, 
think that one was a bit gone. Just a bit far gone. Were well, you in racing with that? Yeah, three sisters. I didn't check it until we spun. We went from front to back, and then um, I realised that. <laughs> Absolute legends down there. They're balancing all of them for us um, for £7.50 uh, a corner, which is good, which is very cheap. I didn't even mention what tyres they are. They're Yokohama 808Rs, so uh, they are going to be a lot more beneficial. They're going to be a lot better on the track and hopefully not wear out as quick, but we'll see. They were, they've only done one track day. They were, like, like we said, this is a budget build kind of car, so we're just trying to cut, cut as many costs as we can. Hopefully there'll be a track day this Wednesday coming up, but if not, we'll just, uh, we'll just have to go on the one 7th of December. So yeah, 7th of December at Three Sisters. We're going to get these on now, go home, fit them, and uh, try and show you what they look like, but we've not got much light anyway, so we'll see what we can do. <laughs> Wheels are loaded, let's go get them on. Yo, so we didn't manage to film the rest of the video last night. It got a little bit too dark, but we did get the alloys on. I'm gonna go around now, it's a little bit later in the day, but I'm gonna go around now, take the EJ9 for a spin as it is insured, and uh, just see if they've made any difference really. Nankang tires and like Yokohama and stuff like that are very common in like the Jap track scene kind of thing. So I'm hoping it's made a decent little difference. So we'll just go find out and see, and I'll show you what they look like. Meaty. They do look quite good to be fair. Right, let's take it for a spin. I'm not gonna take it on a long drive because it is getting pretty dark already. This is the thing about winter and trying to make YouTube videos, it's always dark. So it makes it really hard, especially if you work as well like me. Uh, you end up getting home and it's dark. Like I'll sit in traffic on my way home from work and it's literally pitch black. So it is hard, but I'm doing what I can. Anyway, I'm gonna switch the camera around, put it somewhere else so you can see like a, an outside view. Unfortunately, the wipers on this car don't work. We need to get them sorted. Uh, so apologies for that, but I'll switch the camera around so you can see a better angle. So obviously it is really wet on the road as well. So I'm not gonna actually know the full potential of, uh, of these tires, but already it seems like the car feels a little bit better obviously all the tires have been uh, have been balanced as well which is obviously going to help a little bit so it does feel better i think it's one of those that i'll never actually realize the full potential till we get it on track but i'm going to find some nice little quiet back roads of a sunday night and just uh, just have a bit of fun really see if i can tell a difference worth the money i didn't i didn't realize there'd be this much i didn't realize there'd be this much difference in buying semi slicks but it really is so fair play to all the people that have been buying them and telling me to buy them you 
definitely right. Whoa! <laughs> yes! A little bit of sideways action then. <laughs> definitely an improvement like I said I can see why everyone's been telling why everyone says get semi slicks get semi slicks I I was one of them I thought yeah I bet they work but what's the actual difference between like just normal high-end tires and semi slicks what to be fair these these are better than the EP3s and they're whoa where are you going these are better than the EP3s and they're um, I think they're Goodyear Eagle F1s so ADO 8Rs I'm pretty impressed with them to be fair £100 they cost us for four of them, which isn't like the end of the world. It means that we can get on these track days and it's just a lot of fun. It's cheap fun and you can't really complain at that. Whatever horsepower the car is, whatever, it doesn't matter about all that to me anymore. To me, it's just how much of a smile the car puts on your face and how much fun the car is. But anyway, I'm going to take the car home now. The insurance runs out soon, so uh, I think I've had enough fun for one day, especially going uh, sideways on some roundabouts. Don't know how that happened. That's going to do it for this episode. It's already getting dark. Weather's absolutely horrible now. It's winter. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.